Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram and over on Facebook at Me Crafty Scrapper Creates. And today is another episode of M Scrapbusters. And that is a weekly challenge that I have here on my channel. And um, it encourages you to use your scraps. So if you have a bowl of scraps like I have here, there's so much in there, they're <laughs> falling out. Um, then you need to use them up. And I help you each week, or I hope I do, help you each week to use up those scraps that you have on your desk or piling up in a bowl beside your desk like me. Today I am making clusters because I personally need some more clusters in my stash of goodies for junk journals and scrapbooking. Um, now, if you don't need clusters, you can make whatever you would like while you're watching this. Don't worry about it. If it's a past M Scrapbusters, make one of the past ones while you're watching this video with me and still tag me in it. Put M Scrapbusters so I can find you and leave you some love. But with this challenge today, it's got a twist. I want you to use something along on your clusters that you have on your desk. So something you already have on your desk. So no going and finding something and putting it on your desk. Just look at your desk right now. And I want you to use something that's on your desk in with your clusters. So I had the newest um, label sheet digital from our shop. I've already cut off this one row, but we have a brand new label uh, digital in the shop. Look at those. How pretty. Oh, I didn't even cut those off. And I've got some of those fussy cut out. And then I also had these little die cuts from the other day. I didn't have anywhere to put them. And I had um, this little stack of die cuts. They're so tiny. I was like, I don't want to put them in a drawer because they'll fall to the bottom. I'll never see them again. So that's part, that's going to be part of my, that was on my desk. So it's got to be used on these. So I've already made two. And here's one, it's just a bunch of my scraps piled up on top of each other, collaged together, and then I've got a label piece right there. So that is the label portion of the challenge. Use a label. You're gonna make whatever, even if you're not making clusters, if you're making journaling um, cards or tags or whatever that you need for your stash, just make it and um, use a label on it put a label on it somewhere, and then use something um, from your desk on it too. So I think I'm gonna use this little green word phrase here. And what I'm doing, this is chipboard, and so it's a little thick. So I'm just pulling off the back layers. So it'll be thin, and then I can put my own adhesive on it and add it to my stuff. So I also did some um, splattering on these and that's not all dry. So there's that little cluster. I've just finished that little cluster. And so let's start another one. Um, if you are not a subscriber here at Scrapbooking With Me, um, <laughs> if you don't shop at scrapbookingwithme.com, and if you're not a subscriber here at Me Crafty Scrapper, I would love for you to be. It is an honor uh, to me when I see new subscribers each week. That's just, that just makes my day when I see new people, but of course it also makes my day when I see all of my veteran subscribers showing up and watching and liking and commenting. Those comments go a long way, y'all, and I know that I don't keep up as well as I should with comments, but I try my best to get you a heart on there, if not um, reply to it altogether, but I try my best to get you a, uh, at least a heart, a heart to comment to show my appreciation because I surely do appreciate y'all so much for sticking around and being my YouTube friend and my YouTube follower. I appreciate it. Okay, so here's one. It's going to be more tall than anything. 
And um, y'all could also do some sewing on these if you wanted to. I don't think I'm going to do that today um, just because I want to get quite a few made. But yeah, you could totally sew on these too. Now, I know I will get the question, okay, so you're making clusters. What do you, what do, you do with them? once you make them you can do whatever you would like to but most of my most of mine i use um in my journals and i will just put this on a page as um like a decoration or if you had a cluster that you just particularly loved you could even make it like a book plate on the front of your journal that's cute just like that but most of the time when i use a cluster um, if I've got just a plain Jane journal and I need something on a page or something I'll put it at the top of one of my little pages like that or you can put it at the very bottom corner you could even just put this in three sides and have just a little tiny tuck space if you wanted to on that page but most of the time my clusters are decoration now I can also put it this is another fun way to do them Put it on the edge of my page to the side like that and then that is sticking out of your book so when you close it up you can actually see that on the edge of the page that's one of my favorite ways to use it but you can use your clusters however you would like but i knew i was going to get that question so i wanted to go ahead and address that here's a little butterfly label don't even know where this came from it was in some other little ephemera pack that's for sure Aaron Jonas is in the background and he is just finished his chores. Um, Thursday is his chore day most of the time um, here at the house. And he just finished that. We're actually caught up on laundry. That's usually first on his list. Um, he does not run the, wa <laughs> the washing machine <laughs> uh, because we've had too many clothes bleached. He loves his bleach. Um, we have had way too many clothes um, kind of ruined from, from what he was doing. So we don't let him run the washer anymore. Now he will load it and, you know, we'll start it for him. Um, things like that. But he's not one to <laughs> wash the laundry anymore. One, one thing is... He loves to overload the washing machine. That's one. And then two, he likes to use entirely too much bleach. So anyway, that it his chores got done really quickly today because we are caught up on laundry. So he didn't have to hang up any of our colored clothes and he didn't have to uh, dry and fold any of our white clothes. So. And that's what we, that's how we describe it to him. It's just easier for him to understand that lingo, how we use it. Um, I don't know how y'all call your um, laundry at home. The wear out clothes and then the pajama clothes and towels and all of that. That's, that's the two different clothes we have here at the pilot house. And... That terminology just helps Aaron to, he's a, he's big time into um, colors, helping him um, get things straight in his head, understanding what you're wanting to talk about. Um, like, there is a vent, an air conditioner return vent in our hallway on the wall, but it's right beside where the bathroom door is so when i want him to dust that i will put dust white vent on the wall by bathroom and he knows exactly where to go what i'm talking about um what he needs to do um on the refrigerator i'll sometimes get him to clean off the refrigerator door handles and ours is stainless steel so I'll say um, clean the silver handles on the refrigerator and that just helps him with his mind with his um, expressive receptive language disorder it helps him 
to know what I'm exactly talking about. Um, our new dining room tables and chairs is totally different color than our old dining room tables and chairs. So when I'm asking him to do that, you know, I just have to tell him, you know, the new white and brown <laughs> dining room table and chairs. Wipe those off for me. And for anybody saying, oh my gracious, she gets her son, her special needs son to do all of this. Mm, no, I don't force him to do anything. That is his niche. He loves it. He loves organization. He loves to clean. And he also loves the um, money he gets, <laughs> the chore money he gets for doing so. Um, he comes to me wanting a chore chart and um, what he can do to help me. He comes to me. Um, that is not something that his dad and I have ever forced. He loves doing it. Um, that is one thing. I, I don't know many almost 23-year-olds that um, want to clean and help be a helpmate to their parents as much as Aaron Jonas does. And I'm telling y'all, he does. He loves it. Okay, so there is that cluster. I put on some green ink. I just kind of took the stem out and dotted it on. And I'm going to get one of these little, it looks like a screw head. And that was with that pack of chipboard stickers, die cuts, all that stuff. So I'm just kind of getting off the, let me find my little pokey tool. That's a lot easier. Getting off the back layer of all that chipboard and just keeping the top and putting a little dot of glue on. Well, and then I'm going to pick it up. I don't see my tweezers right at this moment. So just pick it up with my finger and put that down. So there is another cluster done and we can always add to it right in there. Um, put another word label on there if we want to. I'm going to put that off to the wayside so I don't dip my hand in ink later. So anyways, that is um, what's been going on with Aaron Jonas today. We went to the shop. Um, he and I and Bethany and Brandon to work today and got quite a bit accomplished over there. Got inventory done and new stuff added to the shop. And anybody that doesn't know what I'm talking about, scrapbookingwithme.com is our little shop that we have. And we've been having a little sale, Easter sale. So we had a lot of orders to get out for that. And I thank y'all so much for shopping with us. Okay, I really like how that looks. I love that the shell is still shown there. I'm thinking maybe this here and do that little cluster on the edge there. Oh yeah, I like that. So I'm gonna leave that just like that. This one's gonna be an easy one, I do believe. Put that on like I want it. And then I'm going to ink. I'm using vintage photo today. I don't think I said that in the very beginning. Get that put on. Bethany Janice is full force in college. Almost done really with her spring semester that ends next month. And, um, you know, she had just gotten her license about two months ago and um, we actually have been riding with her to college um, just letting her get the practice in going to and from college because her college is an hour and 15 minutes from home and um, we really just are not um, comfortable with her getting they don't have dorms their dorms right now are under construction so there is no option of her staying at a dorm there and we're really just not keen on her um 
staying alone in an apartment or anything over there right just yet. So um, that might come in the near future. But as of right now, um, we've just now gotten comfortable enough to say you are ready to drive by yourself to college. Right now, she's only going two days a week starting, um, let's see, the first week in June will be summer semester. She is going summer semester and um, she'll be going four days a week, driving over there four days a week then. Um, she does have a friend that's right in like smack dab in the middle, like uh, 42 or 43 minutes from here. So it might be where she can uh, stay the night with her, her uh, mom and dad a night or two. But anyway, that's what's going on with Bethany Janice. And when we told her last night that um, we have peace about it and are ready for her to um, start driving on her own if she wants to, if she feels comfortable and ready. And she was like, yes, ma'am, I am, I am, I am. <laughs> you know, it's just hard She's our baby, and it is very, very hard, especially when you have a special needs child in your life. So we have Aaron. We're very protective of him. But then Bethany came along, and I don't know. It's just very hard loosening those apron strings and saying, you know what? You're good. You need your independence. You're going to be awesome at this. And she is. She's going to be awesome at it. She's going to be fine. She's very uh, capable and um, very attentive driver. So she's going to be wonderful at it. It's just mama's having, mama's having a hard time. <laughs> I am, I am, I am. I'm not ashamed to admit that. I'm having a hard time with it. But I know that everybody's went through this. Every parent has went through this. And um, you just got to do it. So Monday morning when she drives for the first time ever by herself an hour and 15 minutes to school, I will be up with her making sure she's getting in the car good, <laughs> making sure she's driving out of the driveway good. Um, I have threatened to do FaceTime with her and <laughs> like her Velcro the phone to the passenger seat so that I can go along the ride. That's how bad I am, y'all. I'm bad. I am bad. I'm a helicopter mama. I admit it. I am fine with that. Um, don't care who knows it kind of helicopter mama too so it's just who I am anyway yeah <sighs> I'm gonna be on pins and needles Monday but guess what me not going with her those two days a week is gonna give me so much more time to get my work done all of the jobs that I have the four jobs that I have and then the work that I need to finish and get done <laughs> During the week, it's going to give me so much more time to get that done. So, it's a good thing. It is a good thing. I will live. She's going to live, and it's going to be good. <laughs> so, there is our fourth little cluster. I love that one. That one was very simple to make. Let's get one done with that. And that book page just kind of popped out on me, so I think it wants to be used. Let's go a little smaller with that. I like that color of background. Ooh, I like that. I like that just like that. Maybe a little piece of fabric. What do y'all think? I think that would be beautiful. Let's go with some black lace. Like right there. And then that on top. Oh yeah, I like that. Let's move it. Let's do the loop de loops the other way and ink this book page all the way around. And put that on. And then put my lace on. Let's go all the way down this way. 
think I am hearing thunder outside. Y'all, springtime in Alabama is crazy and scary. And it seems like the older I get, the more in tune I am with that. And the more aware I am of, oh no, it might be time to go to the storm shelter again. I just don't like it. I don't like it at all. But it does seem like the weather storm-wise has gotten worse over the years in this here in the south. I've got glue all the way across that. I don't need it, but oh well. Okay, I'm going to put that just like that. I'm going to really just adhere it to my lace and just barely get it down on both sides like that. And find my messy rag. I think I will put this little circle piece on there. This is cute. Let's put, uh, let's do it with this just because we got some bumpity bumpy layers like so. And then a little bit. And the tarnished brass. A few little dots here and there. Like that. And then I'm going to ink. All around like that. That's the first one I've used fabric on. I like that one. Cute. All right, so we're making clusters with labels and something from your desk, something that you had on your desk. Um, I've got this here too. I've got a little scrap. This little scrap has been on my desk forever, and it's a label, but it's on fabric. So that would go with this. Then, yeah, that would go with this challenge. So let's do that. I've got this beautiful mulberry paper back here that's got some inkity inks on it. Let's cut us a piece of this. It won't tear. That It's that very strong muslin paper. Or not muslin paper. <sighs> Uh, mulberry paper. Do a bigger piece. Let's see if we can get this side to tear just a little bit. Oh, barely. I can barely pull on that. There we go. That's better. Okay. Yeah, I didn't like all those straight edges. There, now look at it tearing so easily. Hmm. Kind of like kiddos when you need them to do something and they just look at you like a calf staring at a new gate, you know? When they were little and they'd learn some kind of new little trick or they'd do some kind of little silly smile or something and you go oh I can't wait to show your mom and daddy this or I can't wait to show my mom and daddy this or oh wait till mom and daddy see them do this and then you would go to their house the next night or something and say oh y'all look y'all watch what Erin can do and you do the exact same thing but I guess you know that's that's wanting your children to perform for you and nowadays you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> uh, back in back in the day when I was raising kids, though, it was like the thing. Y'all watch what my kid could do. Y'all watch what my kid could do. <laughs> I think back that on that now, and I'm like, that is so dumb, so dorky. But we were just so proud of them, and especially Aaron was the very first one, and um, we knew he had some learning disabilities and so when he learned how to do anything we were like what look watch you watch you watch you <sighs> oh babe we weren't meaning to 
be monopolizing our child or something. But he sure was cute when he would do it. Now this is just a little piece of napkin. I'm barely putting a little adhesive on it and putting that down. And then I'm thinking this right across there with maybe that there. I like it. I like it a lot. And maybe a little bit more of something, something. That's too plain, ain't it? Let's go with maybe this one. It's got some like postcard looking stuff on it. If it will even come up off of my desk. Oh, I can't stand when that stuff does that. It just kind of sticks to my mat. It's craziness. I'm just going to go with it, y'all. Let's go for it. I'm going to put some fabric glue across here to put my fabric down. Oh, I love that I'm using this piece. It's been on my desk forever. Where we stamped fabric in a video. And then get the chipboard backing off of this one. Joy and living. Okay. Put that down there. I don't care if it's straight or not. I'm good either way. I've had that napkin, that particular napkin, in my stash for a long time, too. And then that label down. And I got it stuck to my mat. Look at all that. All that glue. Got to get the vinegar wipes a hold of it whenever I get this video done. Okay, and let's see here. Let's do a couple of drops of white. And that's just really going to soak into that fabric. I love that already. How it's looking. And that um, mulberry paper too. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. I like it a lot. So there is quite a few clusters already made. Are y'all making clusters with me? I've got this little stack of books that would be too cute on something. Let's find something else to put together with that. And then I've got this little piece right here that's pretty. Let's use that on something. Okay, this could be the background. I just kind of find the biggest pieces for like a background piece. And then just dabble around and add more. This is a little wood grain. Maybe right there. And we put on the book stack and maybe this little label right here. That's cute upside down but it's cute. Let's do that on top of that. That's got a lot going on in it and I'm good with it. Ink this. All of our little pieces. Oh we have a Facebook Live coming up with um, Aaron Jonas Pilot. He's going to be doing a little online concert for everybody. We are having a fundraiser for our group, our gospel group. Um, we're in need of a new trailer to pull behind our vehicle when we go to events. And we're wanting, if at all possible, not to have to go into debt. We would like to just raise the money, if possible. So we know that's how we should be doing it and you know sometimes we just don't have the money and we need something right then and we have to go get a loan 
a bank note for it, but we're going to try our best not to do that with this new trailer. So anyway, we're having a fundraiser, and Aaron Jonas is going to have a little concert online. Don't even have to buy a ticket if you don't want to. <laughs> no, there are no tickets online. Um, but we are going to um, do it for free, but ask if anybody can to donate to our group. And we'll have quite a few different ways, avenues that you can donate and um, help us out. Of course, it's tax deductible. So it helps you out at the end of the year too, but if you've got um, some charitable donations you need to um, get done for the year. I don't know, the year's really just began, but anyway, or just begun. Um, we would love any and all help. So I'm just using a little bit. This is that um, seedless preserves. I do believe it's just a little bit of purple. I was putting in on that because I thought it needed a little bit more to it. I'm going to put some tarnish brass all over this one. Cute. So we got a label on there. We've got a little uh, book stack cut out that I've had forever and a day on there. So yay! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's try to get. Mm, let's try to get ten done. Who knows? We might not, but it's always good to set goals, ain't it? Yes, it is definitely thundering here at the Pilot Ponderosa. I don't like that all those roses is covered up. So yeah, I like that a little bit better. And then, oh yeah, that's better. That is better. Now, I'm going to ink all of this and get me a little label put on there. I think I just like the three layers. Then I'll do maybe a little bit of lace of some kind or something. Let's go with this piece there and then this torn piece like that that little piece of lace looks good right there and you can still see the book page through it and then maybe this label from our brand new digital. Yeah, I like that one better. Let's ink around that and then on there like that. Let's pull out that green from the background and splatter us a little bit. Top and bottom like that. Get my messy rag and get that off of my mat. And I think I'm going to put this little round label on there. Let's go with, put it up here in the corner, but not cover up our 79. I like that little piece there. Okay, there's another. That's eight, right? Okay, let's try to get two more done. Got a large piece of this polka dot back here. I love polka dots. I look back on my um, scrapbook pages and I've got polka dots on like almost every page. That's how much I love polka dots or polka knots as Bethany used to say when she was little. She was the cutest. I'm telling y'all. I know every parent says that, but she had these beautiful little ringlets in her hair, and she had the cutest way of speaking. It was just darling. One thing she would do in the mornings, she when we put her in her big girl bed, 
she decided that, you know, she could get up whenever she wanted to. And it would be 4 o'clock in the morning. And she'd be getting up and coming to our room and laughing and playing and all this. And I was like, no, 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 no. This, this is not, this is not okay. <laughs> we gotta fix this. So, we told her that in the mornings when she wakes up, if it's not light outside, that she has to lay in her bed until it's light. <laughs> and I said, then, when you're laying in your bed, and it is light outside, I need you to say, good morning, to see if me or daddy are up. Don't just come in our room. You need to make sure that someone else is up before you get up because you don't need to be just going around in the house without one of us up. And so ever since then, well, of course not now. She's too old for it now, but um, she, she was like, I don't know, three. And the second it was light outside, good morning, she would say. And we'd say, okay, you can get up. And she'd run to our room laughing and giggling. Oh, I miss those days. Now she could sleep all day long every day if we let her. She loves her sleep. And she's not scared to tell you that. Okay, ink this little piece. We will think back on some of those memories of our kids when they were little and I just want to sit in a corner and cry. Don't y'all feel like that sometimes? It's just overwhelming. Here we are, 46 years old and dealing with adult children. And I mean, not dealing with them in a bad way. I'm not saying that, but it's just just an overwhelming feeling to know I was I was just a teenager myself. Where has the time gone? And how in the world do I have adult children? It's just mind blowing to me. And then I think, well at least they're still here at home. They could have, you know, families of their own and moved away and I will be more than proud of that for Bethany and you know Aaron too if the Lord ever sees fit but um, we have a feeling that the Lord wants Aaron to stick around with us a little bit longer and that will be totally fine he'll be able to help his elderly mom and daddy one day <laughs> Uh, we tell people already, especially when we're out with the group and um, needing help with equipment or something, he is right there helping. We've told people, the Lord knew how bad our backs were, and he gave us a strong boy to help us with it. All the equipment and big stuff we have to move around. This is a digital from something. I'm wanting to say one of Miss Betty Ann's. I'm going to cut out this little rectangle and use it in a cluster, and this will be our tenth. We've gotten good stuff done today, y'all. I will move all these in frame in just a minute so everybody can see what we got accomplished. Let's put some book page back behind there and do that one down like that and let's do it sideways like this and what does this one look like there in the middle oh I like that okay so let's ink all of these pieces and Just start gluing them on. I mean, y'all don't think too long when you're putting together snippets or clusters like these. Just put it down. Get it on there and get it done. And then enjoy the bounty. <laughs> because they are so pretty to put 
in your journals or on your scrapbook pages and they can be useful pieces, functional pieces, or just decorative. And it's very easy to put together. Super duper easy project. Okay, there's that off and a little screw head. I'm going to put it over here where there's not too much going on. And a little bit of green to pull that green from the background out on the edges there. So there's 10. Yay! So I'm going to move these into frame for you so you can see everything we got accomplished today. Lots of florals. That's me though. I love florals. Okay. This one's wanting to bow up just a little bit. There we go. And look, I almost got all of those little pieces used up. Just got three more little screw heads there to use on something. Yay! I think these turned out rather well. And I have ten more clusters for my stash. Thanks so much for uh, playing along with me and creating with me today and watching today. You help me so much with YouTube's algorithms and I thank you for that. Y'all have a great day. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Bye y'all.